Hi and welcome to another edition of What's at Scammels this week. Again, a ripper sale this week, just over a thousand lots. Adrian, let's go and have a look at what's in furniture this week. We'll start here. Uh, kitchen cabinet, this one's had the, uh, the glass replaced, but quite an interesting piece. These have really uh, come uh, to the, into their own now. Um, we're starting to see a little bit of a resurgence of these. This one's actually quite nice. See three windows, you can see what's going off in your cupboards. Display cabinets, always quite good. This is a special piece, Adrian. This is a French style wardrobe, uh, but obviously made to keep chickens in because it's got the, uh, the chicken wire on there as well. And I think that's uh, sort of a shabby, chic French style, retro industrial, uh, lovely one there, nice carving, but uh, needs a bit of help. TV, obviously a nice flat screen there, upgrade your life. These are quite nice as well, Adrian, set of four um, metal framed garden chairs. These are lovely actually. Uh, I wouldn't do a thing with them other than give them a bit of a coat of uh, oil over the top just to seal them off, but leave the, uh, the paint the way it is. It's quite nice. Suitcases, oh, look at the standy cycle in the back there. For those who are into bikes, uh, especially ones with flat front tyres, that's an absolute ripper. But original tyres on that as well, white walls with the uh, red trim, beautiful uh, girl's bike or small lady's bike, uh, but that's an absolute cracker. Bureaus, bedside chest of drawers, these are absolute crackers, big ones now, straight from Transformer. Bar stools, uh, always got bar stools in, these are quite nice. Have a look at this uh, lounge suite, Adrian, this is an absolute cracker. I thought it was a Tessa uh, or a Fleur when it came in, but it's not. It's actually made um, in Melbourne. Uh, lovely piece, uh, three pieces in all, including the footstool. Lovely brown leather, but great um, bentwood um, frame. Um, nice lounge suite and all. Great colour as well, the chocolate brown. Lots of ruggers as well. Rugs across the top there. Our flag collection this week. We've got uh, the almost like the UN meeting here at Scammels. Fantastic, including the large uh, Danish flag there as well. As I said, lots of rugs, coffee tables as well. Teak, uh, you can't go past the old teak there, 1970s, 1980s, retro as they call it, but uh, nice teak. This one's a bit of a combination of teak and glass and tiles. Best of all three worlds, this one. So don't, uh, don't go past uh, that one this week. Bedside chest as well, uh, whether you want the individual ones just for uh, if you live by yourself or the like. Uh, or to match in a new one. This is quite nice as well, whilst it's modern, it's a nice uh, candelabra. Um, this is an absolutely great one as well, little twisted um, finish there. Big chaise, nice big day bed or chaise lounge there, great for the sunroom, rest easy on Sunday reading. Over this way, lots of dining tables and chairs, individual chairs, uh, antique ones, nice dining table, good 30s bell legger, uh, lots of different styles. We have a run of circular tables this week. Over in the background there, Adrian, whilst I won't walk over there, theatre seats. Absolute crackers, probably come out of a theatre in Melbourne. Uh, lovely, probably wrought iron there, beautiful backs on these. Let's whiz over this way and see what we've got. Lovely little knee hole writing desk, this one here. Um, pine, uh, multiple doors and drawers, fitted interior there as well. Pigeon holes, somewhere to keep your pigeons while they're resting at night. Um, again, great if you're fitting out an office a coat tree or a hall tree. Uh, don't see many of these. This needs a bit of a lick over and a polish. We don't see many of these anymore. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but this is uh, a nice piece as well. Butcher's block going over this way. Chest of drawers, Baltic pine, uh, glass hand as well, half bob and column. Uh, probably $800 or $1,000. Cheap really for a, a, a chest of drawers. Uh, indoor Bowls Association plaque or uh, mounted trophy there with all the names and inscriptions there as well. That's fantastic actually, really, really good piece. If you're missing one, uh, replace it. Couple of cats as well. Combination, we've got Danish pottery, we've got uh, aluminium or the, uh, the retro canisters there on a pine. A very odd uh, shape top on this one now. It's a reverse waterfall as they call it. Uh, nice big shield panels as, as well. Uh, Chesterfield lounge suite. This one here, beautifully worn in as well, just needs a bit of a lick over with leather polish, uh, but it's well worn in. These get really, really good after about five or eight years of constant use. So this one, nice colour as well, well worn in, just needs a bit of leather polish on top. This one's interesting, Adrian, if you can get a quick snapshot of this one. This one, uh, what they call chinoiserie. 
It's a typical drop side table, but if you can get an image of the design on top there, uh, it's a black lacquered design, lovely border around there as well, but a raised uh, decorative pattern, uh, like a court scene. Uh, quite interesting this one, uh, the same as on the other panel as well. So that one, uh, not just your average table, um, quite nice. Over this way, a Celix a nine piece suite, so you have the sideboard, uh, the chairs, or ten pieces, isn't it really, chairs and the table as well. Uh, beautiful condition this one, looks like it's hardly been used or it's been kept under the, uh, the rubber matting for, for years and years. Hardly anywhere on the chairs as well. Um, if you're after a formal dining suite, then this is really for around about seven or eight hundred dollars. It's an absolute cracker of a, a piece. Uh, clocks, lots of clocks. Adrian will show you some clocks in the Smalls room. Um, over this way, what do we have? Oh, Adrian, go to town. Not only do you save uh, money with the carbon tax coming in, because this is an electric bike, Adrian gets up to a, probably around about 28 kilometres an hour. I reckon that is probably the safest thing you could have on the road these days. Water ski, of course, we'll try and find the other one, but otherwise uh, go for your life on the single there. Lots of uh, sort of 60s, 70s, 80s retro. Fabulous lamp, this one as well. Great for Father's Day. Bang and Olufsen this week, Adrian. Uh, we've got three, uh, three components plus a pair of speakers as well, individually lotted. Uh, the um, the uh, B.O. Graham, the B.O. Master. Um, this one here is the BO Master. This is the 2400 model. Pair of speakers, these are hard to get. Uh, a little bit of damage on this. This needs to be fixed up, but otherwise uh, the, uh, the cones are in good order. Uh, so these are very, very hard to get. Nice carved panels on the sideboards here as well. A very odd mix. In the background we've got our collector's auction. Don't forget that is on tomorrow, uh, the 26th at 10am. Tool bench as well. Bit of uh, retro outdoor country industrial, I'm not sure, we'll just make up the terms as we go now Adrian. Fish tank, uh, this is actually I think for frogs or snakes, these ones as well. Um, anyway that's it for the furniture this week, um, we'll hand over to Adrian now and he'll let us know what's in the smalls, thank you. Okay welcome to the smalls area ladies and gentlemen, this week at Scammells we've been absolutely flat out in this area, uh, I left Jason by himself yesterday, he's absolutely run amok, pulling boxes apart, uh, putting things into cabinets absolutely going crazy. So we'll go through a few things that we have this week. Uh, Mikey is all under control over there, still riding up, so there is more coming out. Uh, look, the star clock's always popular. Uh, there we go, 1960s star clocks, every home needs one or has had one in the past. Uh, we'll move along this way, Jason. Now, yes, you mentioned clocks earlier. We do have some clocks. Never be late again. There's one for every day of the week. Uh, it's a great range of clocks. Uh, a lot of them do have the pendulum still. Uh, can't guarantee if they're working order. Some of them are ticking away at the moment, but buy as you see them uh, in need of a bit of a lick up anyway, but fantastic pieces there. Uh, go around this way, we have the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Uh, again, we'll be offered this week, made out of a, a lot of Lego and uh, bits and pieces there, fantastic piece. Uh, great for the pool room, straight to the pool room. In their display cabinet at the back here, Jason, we do have some winners. Let's have a look here. Here we go, that's a beauty. That's a Studio Anna vase, uh, lovely painted decoration on there. Uh, usually a very good seller. Uh, nice piece of uh, Australian ceramic ware, is a bit underrated still. Um, and I think they'll take off uh, at a later date. Absolutely good investment piece there for sure. Uh, the Murano glass, a mixture of assorted. Uh, good range of Murano glass there. Uh, we have a little squirrel looking up at us down the bottom there. A uh, mixture of Moorcroft this week. Um, and again, some lovely little Moorcroft uh, bowls. Uh, usually a good seller, um, but just a nice little collectible piece. Uh, great designs on the Moorcroft. Uh, at the top here, Jason, however, it's a lovely piece, this one here. This is a Carlton where you rarely see this design come through, especially in this size. Have a look at that. Absolutely, it's a beauty. Uh, looks to be in good condition, sounds good. Uh, Stamp to the base, can't wear, uh, handicraft. Quite a nice, uh, nice piece there with the, uh, with the fruit decoration. Um, just a, a rare piece to find these days. Let's move along this way, Jason. Well, I've got boxes behind me. See, Mike is still unpacking boxes. I'll just push that out the road. Uh, look, we have the Mei Ling collection this week. We've had a, a single vendor bring in a, a large collection of Mei Ling, which she had collected uh, over the past few years. Uh, good range there, ranging from the teapot, the vases, uh, obviously some little comports and bowls there as well. But if you're into Mei Ling, uh, look, don't miss this week's sale. Great collection there, uh, add to the collection, uh, that's for sure. Uh, at the uh, top there for the watch collectors, we have the Seiko uh, watch advertisement. As you can see, it's lit up, is in working order. Uh, great for the uh, Seiko watch collector, put it in the display cabinet with the, uh, with the clocks. 
uh, on watches. Uh, down the bottom here, Jason, we do have some, uh, these are actually pretty hard to find these days, uh, some tiles for the uh, fire grates. Uh, looks to be in good order as well, great decoration. Uh, either hang them on the wall, put them in the bathroom or on the fire grates, that's fine. Uh, bus only lamps, always good sellers. Hang on. Hello? Yeah, no, he's not here. Sorry, mate. Thank you. Bye. Okay, well, there we go. That's in, uh, <laughs> well, I can't guarantee it's in working order, obviously. It's not plugged in, but a bit of a laugh there. Uh, so some great retro bits and pieces in here. Uh, the Erica phones are usually a good seller. Come in various ranges of colours through the, from the reds, the yellows, greens, and obviously the little, the grey one here. Uh, great for the uh, great for the pool room. Uh, peacock feathers, look, if you've lost your peacock feathers or the peacock's lost its feathers, there's some, replace them with those. Uh, and again, have a look at these bays. We've got all sorts in here. We have the Pokemon collection. If you're into Pokemon, uh, a massive range of Pokemon, Star Wars, lots of bays of collectibles. Now the pork kegs are empty. We had to drink all those last week. Uh, that was a couple of late nights here. Uh, so they're uh, under the hammer on Monday as well. Uh, the gaming systems. Uh, now Jason's uh, set up a special gaming area here this week. Uh, we have uh, items like the, the Bomb Sweeper by Nintendo, which is a game and watch. This one here is actually quite a rare one. Uh, that's a Super Mario Brothers crystal screen. Uh, it does have a slight scratch on the back, but look, they're, they're actually quite a rare, uh, rare machine themselves. Uh, rem remember these in the 80s. Uh, that is in the box as well. Uh, good range in there, PlayStation 2. Uh, a lot of uh, little collectibles down the bottom there as well. Okay, what have we got in here? Oh, geez, look at all this. We've got calisthenics batons. Uh, look, I won't throw these in the air uh, because I'm just too good at throwing these and juggling them. Uh, so look, th that, they're always good sellers, good decoration as well. Uh, there's all sorts in this one. There's a fishing reel guaranteed to work somewhere in Australia. Uh, probably not in Adelaide, you never know. Uh, now, Jason, I'm not sure if you can pick this up. It's a, uh, a royalty mug. I know you were going to ask that, but uh, how can we do it? But let's have a look in there. How's that? There we go. You just don't see that sort of thing too often. Uh, 1902, lovely little piece. Um, okay, what else? Oh, more calisthenics batons. Let's watch out for the boxes here, Jason. There's more boxes on the floor. Open wheel racing car. Don't forget the collector's auction. Uh, again, starting at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning on, on Saturday morning. Uh, wood plane, that's a compass plane, standing number 20. Uh, again, fairly hard to find. Uh, not in bad order. Still has some uh, nickel plating on the sides. Uh, but a good uh, addition to a, a collection of woodworking tools. Let's go over this way, Jason. We'll have a look over here. Yep, all sorts. We've got the barometer. Uh, we'll go that side first. Uh, there's a barometer oak cased, uh, always sought after. Uh, there's a change going to happen soon anyway. Uh, okay, what do we got over here? We've got the maps, always good sellers as well. Good for the retro and the industrial room. Uh, Albert Namajira, original print. Uh, genuine print, uh, not a painting, obviously, but uh, there we go. Albert Namajira. Uh, but look, that's about it for this week, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see around, there's all sorts of fantastic bits and pieces, uh, ranging from the china, glassware, collectibles, uh, lots of jewellery, uh, clocks. Look, we've got ample clocks this week. Uh, movie posters. Uh, we've got a violin, a couple of squeeze boxes, or piano accordions as they call them as well. Uh, so look, we'd love to see you here on Monday morning. If you can't make it, feel free to use the Interbid website uh, through uh, scamlauctions.com.au. You can use the Interbid system a live online bidding system, or also leave absentee bids. But we start at 9 o'clock on Monday morning. Feel free to pop down and have a rouse. Thank you.